Hey, good morning. Chuck here with Apple Drains. Which one of these discharges is the best? Is it the pop-up? Is it a grate? Or is it a curb hole? Actually, all three of these work great, but it depends on your application. Are you prepared to drill a curb hole for a flat and level yard? Most people install a pop-up. It is the easiest discharge to install. As water comes down the line, it lifts up the lid and disperses across the yard. The problem with the pop-up is that if you have a level yard, you're losing fall at the discharge. The pop-up loses four inches of fall before that water can come out and disperse across the yard. And whether you're using a 4 inch 90 with a grate or a speed basin, which is 6 by 6 catch basin with a grate as the discharge, you can see you're still losing fall before it can discharge across the yard. There's really two types of curbs. One is kind of a square face curb, a almost rectangle, and the other is the half round curb. Let's take a look at what it takes to drill through a square curb and to make a V-cut in the half round curb. So in this example, we're actually replacing a pop-up because it is a very level yard and the pop-up loses so much fall that it, it works, but it can work much better if we bring it out here to the curb. You need a good hammer drill and we're using a Bosch hammer drill with a diamond core bit. Okay, take a little break here so you can see how clean of a hole a core a hammer drill with a diamond core bit can make. Really nice. We're about halfway through and we just need to keep on going. This takes, this is a pretty wide curb. It's about six and a half inches. This takes probably about an hour altogether and um, it is a little bit demanding. You know, you got to keep pushing on the hammer drill. But what a neat tool. Diamond core bits. And you can see the grooves to help pull the debris out, you know, the waste. This is the concrete it's pulling out. And it just goes right through there like butter. Well, you know what I mean. A lot of people are afraid to drill the curb hole because of their county or their municipality. But you know what? The county's there to work with you. And if you go down to the city and tell them what you're doing, they'll be happy to give you a permit. So we just popped through. You can see that water coming out and dropping over here as well. <clears throat> yeah, we're all the way through it. So let's go ahead and pull our saw or our hammer drill out. And you can see that water just pour out of there. So we've gained about three inches of fall by putting a curb hole in. Next, we'll go ahead and take this pop-up off. Remember, the pop-up you can see it, it's a 90 degree turn and you lose four inches of fall immediately. So if you've got a really level yard, like this one, and the drains are set around behind the corner there, I mean, they're down a foot from this little rise we see, that line is so level as it comes out, you really need to come out through to the curb. Okay. Let's take a look at how to cut a V in a half round curve. This is a little bit tricky. A lot of people are really afraid of this, but I'll tell you what, this is easy to do, I promise. In this example, we're bringing downspouts and catch basins out to the street. We are collecting a great deal of water and we need this to go out into the street gutter. You'll notice that I'm using the expansion joint of the curve. Very important, if you can bring your line out to that expansion, it'll make it a lot easier. We're going to make three cuts. The first cut defines how wide the V cut will be in the curve. The second cut allows us to remove a section of concrete with a pry bar. And the third cut is right down through the expansion. Watch this. Yeah, this is a little dusty, but take a look and you'll see what I'm talking about. And I'll show you one more example after this. It's important to cut all the way down through the back of that curb. Remember, that curb's six or eight inches thick. And the partner saw will cut 
roughly four inches. So taper it off as you come out to the street and you will end up with something like this. So now if you've made your cuts properly, you should be able to take your pry bar and just hit it a couple times inside these cracks and pop it right out of there. There's your first piece and there's your second piece. Let me bring the camera over here. You can see what it looks like. You can see a perfectly cut V. That pipe will go right there to the end. We'll just clean it out and that water will come right out here to the street. Okay, here's one more example. In this example, it's kind of the same thing. We're bringing downspout drains um, straight out to the street and you'll see how we make that same V cut. This is something you guys can easily do. You may need to rent the partner saw, but it is an easy thing to do. This is gonna get dusty. We're about 350 feet from the house where we installed the downspouts, and we don't have a garden hose that will reach this far. But if you have a hose, this could keep the dust down. You just let it cool the blade off and it keeps that dust down very well. But notice how I'm making three cuts. It's always the same. You make it just wide enough for your pipe and you'll get this every time. <clears throat> now we're just going to pop this loose. There's one piece. Trying to do this with one hand, to show you how easy it really is. Pull our pieces right out. And we'll clean this out. I just need to use both hands. <clears throat> so you can see our V cut right into the curb, brings it out. We're just going to set our pipe right here, and we're just going to cut a little bit into the curb, so we'll cut it right here. You'll notice that I kind of taper it just a little bit to help it get out here, and what we don't want is water come down this hill and come back into our, to our system. But there you have it, a little V-cut. I think the NDS pop-up is one of the easiest things to install, but I'll go over that really quick using corrugated pipe and show you the results. NDS pop-ups, 4 inch 90. It has a pre-drilled slot here at the bottom. A little cap that pops on the top. We're going to cut this to length. <laughs> and basically we're going to attach this 4 inch pipe to the NDS 90. And you notice it doesn't fit, right? So we've got to make an adjustment. So you notice that this is a PVC fitting, thin wall PVC, and it does not fit the corrugated pipe. There are truly 20 or 30 different types of adapters, and they all work really good. What we're going to do is use this section of this adapter. It's got some little barbs in here, and it's going to snap into place very secure very secure will not come off <laughs> then we're going to go ahead and just push our 90 onto this adapter and we're all done it's set we'll go ahead and set this to grade and backfill and that's how simple it is to put a pop-up on it's, it's not difficult at all and whether you use this adapter or several other adapters they all work great so you can see i basically just cut the sod around the whole pipe backfilled underneath of it is nice and secure. Remember it has already has a slot cut in it in that 90 to let the water drain. So as water comes down the line, it pushes up this pop-up. Whoops, get my finger down under there. <laughs> pushes this pop-up up and the water disperses just right across the yard. Really simple. And don't be fooled. Th th these things are readily available. So much easier to get these at Home Depot, Depot, or at Lowe's, either one, Ace. They're everywhere, and I think they're about 15 bucks. 
there's other options. I've showed you many other options of how you can do this. And you can see we've got this all put up. This line goes all the way up to that downspout through all of the bushes, through the sprinklers. Okay, so we looked at several different ways to discharge. Like I said, the NDS pop-up is by far the easiest one to install. But we also looked at coring the curb and cutting a half round curb and I can show you how easy that really is to do. It really depends on what your application is and what you're willing to do on your own project. Hey, this is Chuck with Apple Drains reminding you that if you believe you can do something, I guarantee you can do it. Have a great day.